Hi guys, very good evening to you. Uh, today I'm going to talk about uh, a transpose uh, function. Uh, this is a feature which is available uh, in paste special and to use the paste special we have the shortcut key alt e s right uh, i'll just tell you that um, how you uh, what does actually this transpose function does and we'll not just only talk about uh, uh, the feature which is available in the paste special but i'll also tell you uh, that you can even use the transpose in a formula right how you can make a transpose formula so uh, suppose you have some data and this is really very important uh, people who work on Excel uh, this requirement keeps coming you know off and on and uh, if you know this option then you can really do uh, your work quite easily uh, so suppose uh, I have uh, let me just paste some more numbers over here now transpose function is what it actually does is it it changes the direction uh, if you have a data in a vertical direction just uh, like in this case you have the data in the downward direction so what if you want this data to be uh, look like this horizontally you know like this 66 and then 12 and then so on right so you really need not to write this manually what you can do is you can simply select this range copy this and use alt e s which is the paste special when you press Alt E S, you'll see this pop-up box, and you just need to use the transpose function and press OK. So you'll get your all values in the horizontal direction. And similarly, if you want this horizontal direction in a vertical direction, just copy this. You see these marching ants, right? So they're marching. So my data is copied now. Let's say I want to copy this in a vertical direction on this cell, which is B11. So Alt E S, and then just check mark this transpose box and click OK right so this is how you can change the direction and you can move your horizontal data into vertical direction and uh, vertical direction into horizontal direction so this is what we call the transpose function now if you don't know the alt e s the shortcut key that's a good thing um, you know uh, to know uh, but otherwise also uh, if you're somebody who generally doesn't like using the shortcut keys right so you can even do this you can copy this data and you can select this cell and you click on this paste option and over here paste special check check this option it these are the options right Th this is paste this is formula this is formula uh, pay, uh, formulas and number formatting and so on so you have the option over here transpose so the moment I'm I have not clicked yet I have just I'm just my mouse is uh, on right over this target and you see I can see the effects right on this spreadsheet right so if I just um, go on some other another uh, option like formula number formatting you see the data is changing right and so on so um, this is uh, the feature which is available in 2007 onwards uh, where you can actually see the visual effects uh, before applying uh, your formula so I am going to click on this and this is how you will get this option. So there are two methods. One is the shortcut key RTS and one, one is to simply go here and to use this transpose option. Right now uh, that's something which you might be aware of. Right. But there is uh, one more thing which I would like to tell you and that's exactly you know uh, the motive of this video. Uh, what I want to do is now you see uh, now you are in a situation where you have this data and uh, whenever th these numbers are going to change let's say I'm going to change these numbers you see we can't have any changes over here right these cells are not going to be changed automatically because there is no formula attached with this transpose function that that is a manual process so again you'll have to copy this and you'll have to select this cell and you'll have to alt ts and then you'll have to press the transpose option so this is how you'll have to do it every time so uh, there is a way of doing it uh, we can make this uh, function a dynamic function how we can do it now we have this uh, number of cells which are being used here we have got eight cells as you can see here eight cells so do one thing select horizontally eight cells one two three four five six seven eight now go to the formula bar and just write transpose the moment you start writing transpose you see this automatic excel help is you know being provided to you so that shows that the formula actually exists now 
this talks about the array so array means table where is your array where is your table so that's my table so you select this with the help of the shift key and now close the bracket the moment you're going to close the bracket please don't press enter because the I'm right now going to press enter and see the formula is not going to work right so why it is not working because is it is going to act as an array and whenever you enter the array you have to first let me just skip the table we define the table and now we'll have to press control shift enter remember guys I'm repeating again you will not have to press enter only you got to press control shift enter this is how the array functions works right so see we have got the output here and uh, check out every cell every cell looks like same we have the formula here you know transpose f1 to f8 and there is no changes in the cell and moreover you can't even delete it if you're trying to delete it it will say that you cannot change a part of the array so if you want to delete it you'll have to delete it in the entire formula right you can't delete the one cell and now let's see uh, let's try to change this uh, let me write some value over here so you see this is actually changing the numbers as well right so that's how you can you know fix this formula uh, and uh, so in a situation where you want that every time your formula is changing the numbers are changing and you'll have to use that data horizontally if, if it is in vertical direction or maybe vice versa you can use the transpose function in this way right so this is how you can use the transpose function and let me just write here control plus shift plus your colon that's what you are supposed to enter right so when you press control shift uh, colon what will happen is I'm just repeating this task for you select the cells number of cells which you are supposed to use and then use the transpose function and then select this entire table and control shift enter not the colon I beg your pardon it's control shift enter that's not control shift enter the moment you press control sh shift enter this formula will be there and you really can't delete it if I'm trying to delete any cell it is not going to be deleted right now uh, supposedly um, I'm just going to add uh, one more tip over here uh, because the question might come in your mind that right now I have just only eight uh, entries here so I have selected the eight blank cells one two three four five six seven eight right so this data could be large like for example I have maybe these many cells over here right so if I'm going to count these cells like this I have the 24 and now if I want them uh, in a horizontal direction but and I want to use the transpose formula so I'll have to really count you know 22 cells right so it is really not required you can do it even in uh, one step so uh, first, first of all you just need to count the cells you have the 24 count so just go for the uh, go you know according to your estimate and just select these cells you really don't have to count the cells so I'm just counting the cells let's say these are the 34 cells right now because I can see it here right but in case if this option is not visible in your cell just take a little bit you know according to your estimate just take some extra cells and start writing the formula transpose I'll just show you what I actually mean now go to your table where is your table yeah that's my table I selected this entire table and control shift enter right so you got the data and the last one the last point is 12 so let me keep this maybe 1900 okay so let's move left to right now and check this 1900 where is it where is it so I have this 1900 here and the 1900 is the last cell so thereafter whatever the cell is coming it is showing me the error NA why because there is no as such element after your 1900 so the last element in our array is this one which is AP 15 cell but according to the table the last cell which is supposed to be used that is only 1900 right so in such a situation you can do even one thing you can just select this and you can give it a white font right so you can give this a white font and it can be nobody will come to know that you have some you know data over here or otherwise you can even do one thing you can simply select these columns and you can hide them right so that was a tip I thought I will uh, share this with you because generally this question comes in the mind that you know uh, selecting the cells according to the number of 
cells uh, found in the data is again a you know quite cumbersome task so you can always go for your approximation and you can select the number of cells you know uh, a little uh, um, you know it should be a little uh, on the higher side you know it should be little higher uh, suppose you have this uh, like we just did we have the 24 cells what if you have the 50 cells so obviously you not have to count the 50 cells like this just go by your approximation and you know select number of cells uh, and extra I mean you which you think that might be uh, greater than 50 so in that way you can uh, hide or you can give the white font to the NA the errors right uh, and uh, yes uh, so there is uh, one more point which I want to share here share here so if you want this uh, let me just make this let me uh, create this one more array let's say we have this array and let me just delete this now if I'm going to delete this let's say I have the three cells over here now uh, not the three but I have how many cells I have six cells right six cells uh, six cells have the value so what I'm going to do is this time I'm going to create only four cells right so if I create the formula right now transpose and if I select these cells and if I press control shift enter see what will happen obviously it will not go further than seven because it can only accumulate the cells you know uh, for which you have actually defined the range so this range has only four cells so it will start from the four five six seven and, and it will stop there right so if I change this value so that we don't have the seven twice so you see that there is no as such 12 or 8 why it's quite simple because you are not giving giving your formula that much of width and if I'm now trying to drag this formula you see 6 7 and 10 and so on this is not going to work you can't drag this formula you'll have to create a you know new array in order to get all these elements right so uh, that was the tip um, a uh, very you know <laughs> small tip but I guess it is very useful when you particularly work on the Excel and you really really work a lot so I hope you enjoyed the tip and uh, this uh, would have increased your knowledge uh, in Excel and I keep on coming with some more videos you can uh, write me an email in case uh, if you are looking for some uh, training uh, be it basic Excel intermediate Excel or advanced Excel you you can even watch my other videos which are uploaded on my YouTube channel and you can subscribe it subscribe to them and that's my another email ID which you can write me which is a gmail one right all right guys so thank you so much for your time and please keep supporting as uh, I am seeing that a lot of you are giving me a good response and uh, I have some more videos to upload very soon so just watch out for them thank you so much have a nice day bye bye